that so all right so guys i'm about to pull out and go ahead and um give it, oh hey he is cute hi actually from the mess he's kind of cute uh, okay <laughs> I have to um, was I had to drop him off to work and I'm gonna tell you how we almost got killed yes we almost got killed dropping him off or should I say killed or badly hurt all right Okay, this is gonna be a really like. Hold on, I can put my little nose on. I wanna feel right coming at y'all with no crusty ass lips and fats. Put on this Morphe really quick. Hey. I like my lip crown. Morphe. $5 is on sale. This is TTFN, aka, I think it's hazelnut or something. But they have, like, they do it by letters. But yeah. I was going to put the gloss on top to kind of give it some more punch, but I think I'm just going to leave it as. I'm just going to leave it as matte. So I love it. It's so nice. And it's like natural, you know? Yes, I love it. Okay. All right, hey guys, so this I meant to do like a kind of like a vlog, but I, I finally got my stand and um, I wanted to do a whole full blown, full blown vlog with um, not just me, but maybe possibly my friend, but the way things pan out, it didn't happen that way. Plus, um, I have to um, was I had to drop him off to work and I'm gonna tell you how we almost got killed yes we almost got killed dropping him off or should I say killed or badly hurt all right so let me tell you this real quick right so we are like we approach a street where we can now make a right or a left turn and we decided we had we had to make a left turn to get on to the you know the opposite side of the road so we can just keep going straight at like the straight away to his job right so we we finally approached the street now i i just in my spirit you know your spirit like you know it's gonna be some shit right so we about to go but a cop there's an emergency the cop had to go so okay that was neither here nor there but the cop had to pull on his sirens and then make a left or whatever. It was like, okay, whatever. Ugh. So he's gone. And then a few cars go by. And then my friend says, okay, you're good. Because he checked. He said, I said, I, told, I, I can't talk. I told him, check my side, make sure I'm good. He said, you're good. And then after this guy, you can go. Because he was kind of watching too. But I was more, more watching the left since I'm on the driver's side. And I want to get to the left. Right? So I'm like, okay. We get ready to go to head. This UPS truck is coming. Mind you, he's way back there, right? I have enough time where I can pull out. So, and then this way I can make it across. So, we go. And this, this madman in this UPS truck, madman woman, I don't know, decides to speed up, mind you. But then here's the, here's the killer of all this. Speeds up but ends up now on the opposite side of the road where I'm supposed to go. So if, let's say he's coming. Here's me trying to make the left turn. We're about to almost collide like this if I made that turn. But for some reason, that must have been God or the angels or something that made my instincts kick into gear. And I said, okay, thank God there was a street where it was a straightaway and I could turn into like, you know, like a little neighborhood. So it was either me or this truck. So I was like, okay, Mind you, I'm in the right because, meaning I'm in the right for reason. I'm in the right because he's coming, mind you, and then he's on the opposite side of the road. He's on the left side of the road. So not only he could endanger me and my friend, let's say it was oncoming traffic too. He could have got them, right? So 
me, I would have caught the worst of it because I would have been facing him, right? I would have got it. And then maybe my friend next. But I already been T-boned before. I know I don't talk about it as often with my car accident experience, but I've been T-boned before. And I'm like, dude, I'm not having that. I'm not doing it. So, like, so that, that shook me up. But, it, like, at the same time, something just said, boom, just go straight. Because if you make that turn, it's boom. You and this truck will go boom. That's it. Your, your car would be done. Or possibly you and him. You guys would be done. We can replace the car, but we can't play, replace us. Or we'd be badly hurt, right? So... I made it into the house thing to pop and out and, and then I realized what happened and I'm like what the f this guy like first of all it's bad that I, he was all the way back there and sped up but now you end up on the opposite side of the road where I'm supposed to make that left turn so you would have you would have t-boned me and that place is so accident prone where that turn is because it's it's like you um I don't know how to describe it to y'all but like you're driving up and it's like now you come to this point in the road where you can make a left or a right and there's oncoming traffic coming this way um no it'll be coming this way since it's the left and then you know the right where you can turn and make the right so you know and we can go it's like a little fork in the road so you can go either way right um I wish I had a picture so I could describe it to you so you know what I'm talking about but that place is so accident prone I don't know if maybe just like him maybe people panic and they like when they see a car making a left turn they think that car is trying to do something wrong or like and they get crazy and then they end up on the opposite side trying to avoid that car but you don't realize you're on the same side you should have been on the right side of the road because if you're on the right side of the road you know but he was totally on the the totally wrong side of the road so yeah he could have almost got us but thank god God was looking out for us, but yo, I, that made me have flashbacks. I was like, bro, like, no, I'm not doing it today. I'm not having it today. Like, no, <laughs> it is not a part of my whole plan. It's not part of my schedule to get hurt, to get killed. That's why mama didn't lie. She said, you got to drive for other people because people are so manic on these roads like i don't know how even like when i'm going to make turns or whatever or you put on your indicator it's like people get nutty or like they just get i don't know even when let's say you're trying to pass to the right or to the left people want to beat you like what i don't know but anyway but i'm okay guys i'm cool i'm straight hot ass day and now i'm going to uh I'm just going to head to Chick-fil-A and just get something to eat for the night and um, turn myself in. And I'm so excited because I got some more of my hair care stuff. So, and you know, it's funny. I was thinking about it today. I said, look at the power. Look at that. He's speaking into the air. God knows, right? <laughs> so I was like, all right, I wonder if I get my, um, my hair care package um, that I ordered. So I got that. It's from Tara Amore, their new peach collection. I'm getting ready to try that. So it's going to be so much fun. And also I got my Julius Place makeup. That's right. I'm going to start really practicing and learning about makeup and um, as a hobby. Now you're probably thinking, T, you are a natural beauty. You don't need all that. I mean, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> but I'm learning how to do eyeshadows more so. I'm going to learn how to do that. And I'm going to. Uh, maybe like do a little face but i'm not really into contour and stuff like that but you know maybe i will over time but i'll play with it but I, i'm not really big on it, especially doing it every day you know like how these girls do on youtube i can't do it every day you know what i mean i, I just can't but yeah dude i'm just gonna do that and i already got some stuff um to help me out a little more with my makeup from the hair store from walmart and I also got some um, some skincare stuff. Um, act, this actually set me up for maybe a mini um, cheapy uh, starting a skincare routine. Sorry, I looked at somebody. You look familiar. Um, but I'm going to actually maybe start a skincare routine, maybe to kind of help um, some people because I want to get back into my skincare. Um, but I I normally start very gently. I think I have to just get one more thing. Um, 
for my skincare stuff. I think maybe I'll just either order it or I'll probably get it from the health store. Um, that one particular item because I want to use the all natural one. I didn't want to get the one in the big bottle for three bucks. I know it sounds cheaper, but I would want to get the real McCoy. I have some more content for you guys. Sorry, this is like a ramble vlog, but this is like a chill vlog. I'm actually going to film myself probably driving and still. But I'm just going to run to Chick-fil-A, get something, and then I'm pretty much done for the day. Yes. Oh, and if you see my pictures on the gram, for those who follow me, um, I am going to post it. It's my dress. It's from it's from Shine. No, not Shine. Girl, stop. It's She In. I keep calling it Shine or Shen. Oh. Is she in? She in. Okay. This is, my, this is actually a dress. You can only see it from the top up, but it's a little maxi dress. I love it. And you know what is good? It's not where it's like it shows off your shape, but it's flattering enough. This is good for folks. Let's say you got a little bit of quarantine gut and you ain't you ain't trying to show that. It'll help hide that. And I didn't have to put on no bloomers or nothing. Like no compression shorts, nothing. And even though like it doesn't really like totally show off booty, you know you got a booty back there, especially if you got a booty. You know you got it right but it's like it's in a flattering way and it's a tie back i don't know if you guys can see but it's hard to see it but it's a tie back and you, so basically you could adjust these straps see this is what boohoo should have done have something like this i don't know why they think everybody has the same shoulders uh boohoo i don't know what's their deal but <laughs> but yeah and i just paired it off with my little africa shaped earrings these were only a buck at my local hair store and a little headband that I got from the hair store as well. Yes. And if you guys are wondering, everybody always compliments me on my hair, like my twist outs. In fact, this, when I was coming into Walmart, this white man's like, oh my God, your hair is just, I, I forgot the word he used for it, but he said, it just, it, like he really complimented. He said it looked really like nice or like something like, like it looked good, you know? And he, he this was like older white man. Like I would say, I'll give him maybe his 50s. Maybe. Like his 50s. And like he could be he could be old enough to be my dad, be pretty much. But he um he he really, really complimented my hair. He said, like, oh my god, your hair. Like <laughs> Okay now. Yes, I get comments from all races and creeds, women and men now, especially. Even when I went down south, like those white people were loving my hair. Like, I, and I had it in a crazy ass wash and go. But them people was loving my maha. Okay? <laughs> even now, even people still stop me. And they're like, oh my God, what do you do? They even say when I walk, it's like my hair just commands attention, I guess. Because <laughs> I, I went to the hair store and there's a girl I went to high school with. And she's like, oh my God, like I, the first thing I noticed was your hair. So, <laughs> but I get an endless compliments. But thank you guys for those. Even when I um I shot the my the To Hell My L with My L video, people really couldn't stop complimenting me on my hair. Um, even people ask me, even stop me on the street. You know, anywhere I go, um, sometimes I'll stop dead in my tracks and people just have to say something to me. And, you know, so, and that really, 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 really makes my heart full. <laughs> um, and especially since I'm thinking about coming out with a video on twist out technique and what works for me. But if you're wondering what's in my hair now to spawn, to do that, I should say this twist out is sponsored by, well, I should be careful when I say that because it's not sponsored. But, you know, they, that this this twist out was brought to you by <laughs> you know on TV or on Sesame Street this twist out was brought to you by the letter T <laughs> you know they always do it at the N and then the letter A and you know they always do that but yeah but I'm going to have another twist out video I can't give it away yet because I want the video to come out and you guys can see it okay so and this lasted I think I took this out what was it I took this out was it Thursday or Friday and it's Monday so this is we'll call it maybe Thursday Friday this is this is about like five days worth but mainly I've been in the house and I kept it protected and this particular twisting butter promised very soft a little hold but you know what guys it, it's actually very nice I dig it and it's still held well especially under the heat and this particular company, I'm gonna try their custard because they say the custard you get a stronger hold, but the custard is better as a standalone product. You don't need anything else. Um, so 
that I'm going to see for myself. But you guys will have to stay tuned for that because then you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay? All right. So, but yeah. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for, for complimenting me on my twist outs. And I'll definitely even come out with some more videos, especially like my favorite, some of my favorite products. I don't know if I should do that now or should I wait till the end of the year to do a favorite um and maybe my favorites of 2020 or all-time favorites uh, I'm wondering what I should do about that but let me know down below if you want me to do a video like that and like I said I'm going to do video on technique for me um if you have hair that's like mine very similar to mine and you want um, results like mine, or you think you can get results like mine, then feel free to follow along, but in the end, you do what works for you. And just like any video that I try or that I have, I always want to leave you room to do what you want to do. As far as, or I should say what works for you. I will come at you with a common sense approach on things like, okay, you know not to do that. But, you know, at the same time, everybody's got to do what works for them. And, hey, look, I no longer use grease. This is a tiny tidbit, and I'll talk about that much later on. I'm not the one really for grease anymore. But, you know, people, they still swear by grease, and it works for them. Okay. You know? But I know people that I'm like, yeah, you using grease, but you got them danger problems. I don't know if grease is really that best, the, the best for you. Okay? But these are people I know and love, right? So... I, I use oil and oil works just as well for me, if not better. Um, so, but yeah, that's just my take on it. And all the odds against the odds.